This was a pretty low budget movie too. I think it was about two million dollars. Mass Mickelson probably took half. <laughs> hey Peter, god dang it Bobby. Welcome back guys to 191 Media. I'm Matt. And I'm Micah. And today we'll be doing a movie review for the film Arctic. Arctic released in 2018 and was directed by Joe Penna. It stars Mads Mikkelsen and Maria Thelma Smardotter. This movie follows Mads Mikkelsen who plays the character who's known as Overguard. And the plot is pretty simple in this movie. He is a survivor of a plane crash in the deep in the Arctic. And his choice is to remain in this plane in the wreckage of the plane crash which he's made kind of a camp and is fairly safe. Or he can move into deeper into the Arctic to try to get to a seasonal base to hopefully find safety and find rescue. So what were your initial thoughts on the movie, Matt? My first thought after watching this movie was that this was a heavy movie. There was a lot going on, even at the same time the plot is pretty simple, but you really you really feel for Mads Mikkelsen's character Overgard, and you do become connected to him, and just his struggle to survive through the Arctic made me really get, I guess, emotionally invested in this movie, even though not a lot happened in this movie, but you really get into it. What were your thoughts on it? Yeah, I agree. I think with these kind of movies, because there wasn't a lot of dialogue, they need to like really focus on storytelling. Mm -hmm. And it's like maybe that old school way of like telling a story where there's not a lot of dialogue, you know, like there's a lot to do with, I guess, cinematography, the way that Mads Mikkelsen's character, Overgaard, he was just interacting with himself for most of the movie, but it really showed his struggle of trying to get out of the Arctic. And also it was really tough for me to watch it because it seemed like they did a lot of like sequences where he was like, you know, struggling with his with his current life and he was just kind of going through the motions. Like he goes to get some fish every day and then he's like, am I actually gonna get a signal from a helicopter? Am, am I gonna get saved? Like we don't even know how long he's been out in the Arctic. Yeah, it seemed like he was there for maybe a little while when the movie starts up because as soon as it starts, he's already made some kind of camp in the wreckage and like you mentioned, he's got this Maybe it's like an emergency device or a radio, some kind of SOS signal that he kind of has to manually interact with to send a signal out and then send for help, which I guess he's under the impression that there is help coming. It's hard to say, I mean, what mindset he was in. He didn't really show, they didn't show the crash of the movie. They didn't show why he was out there. There's no really backstory. You just jump right into it. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting too, because like he sleeps in the plane wreck, but like, there's got to be no heat there too. It's got to be just f absolutely freezing, but it's better than actually being on the cold too. Yeah, I think the wind chill is a big factor out there. So at least he's protected from the wind and he has like a nice sleeping bag and things. And I think he did have that little, it was almost like a propane stove, which he was using for heat at times, but who knows how long that would have lasted, right? Mm -hmm. And what did you think of the acting, Matt? I thought the acting was done really well. Uh, basically it's just, like we said, it's just following Mads Mikkelsen's character Overguard throughout the whole movie and since he's by himself pretty much, there's not really much for him to say because he would just be talking to himself. So it's basically just a testament to his acting. Personally, I find him a great actor and he, I feel like he doesn't need to talk too much or have speaking roles to make people connect with him and even you know, feel for the character. What did you think of the acting? Mm -hmm. I agree with you, man. I think he's had a lot of movies actually where he doesn't have a lot of dialogue in it. And I don't know if he's been like pigeonholed in that kind of like, or typecasted to be that kind of an actor. But I think what he does well is like his facial expressions, like just watching his facial expressions through the movie. Like you can see the absolute despair that he has. And then you think, okay, he's thinking he might get rescued and then He's like just super happy, but then, you know, there's like points where he's just thinking like, am I ever gonna get rescued? And it's kind of like, it's really like a depressing movie when you think about it. Without Mads Mikkelsen, this probably wouldn't be too good of a movie. <laughs> it's hard to say if anyone else could pull it off, really. I'm sure someone, somebody could have, but there's a scene, I don't wanna give too much away, but he kind of gets hurt and then he has to get himself out of this area. And just the way he's portraying his pain, just made me squeal almost like, oh my God, I feel like the pain he's feeling right now. Yeah, I've seen like a similar, similar acting in those style of movies, like rescue style movies. Mm -hmm. So it was for sure making me cringe. <laughs> oh yeah. But there's like, there's so many things out in the Arctic. There's potentially like wild animals and like not just the cold that could kill you. I feel like this was all shot mostly out actually on maybe 
maybe not the Arctic for real, but some cold area. It looked, I did notice some green screen. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that too? Yeah, I did notice that. Yeah. I was like, uh. <laughs> it's like, okay, so they shot this in a set somewhere. Well, it's probably warm, but, and the CGI uh, snow at times too. There's massive snow blowing and the parka that uh, Overgod was wearing. There's no wind blowing his hair around or his parka. So there was some, I suppose, subtle special effects that kind of drew me out of the illusion of being up in the Arctic. But for the most part, I thought they pulled it off pretty well for what they had. I do agree with you there. There was some subtle things that were kind of noticeable. And there was one green screen part that really irked me. You could totally tell, like it's the classic like green screen. You can, it's like a second or so shot and you can just tell because it's like, you know, obviously they don't have the mountains or you know, they don't have the snow, they don't have the mountains just to replicate the real Arctic. But overall, like, I think this was a pretty low budget movie too. I think it was about $2 million. Matt Mickelson probably took half. <laughs> the director, Joe Penna, he's actually, uh, he started as a YouTuber and I think it was 2006 or 2007. And he's just been making kind of short movie style skit videos since back then. And then this was his first feature film. So yeah, he went from YouTuber to feature film working with Mads. So I think he did a good job for his first film. Yeah, no, I, I thought he did a great job too. I, I don't know if, I know we're joking about it, but like, I feel like Mads Mikkelsen is a really good actor, but I don't know if he commands that much money. Like he's a very well-known actor and he's in some huge movies, but like, I don't know if that translates to like a lot of money. Cause like, you know, like an actor like Brad Pitt or Ryan Reynolds oh, yeah. or something wouldn't take a movie like this. But um, I think he's really underrated for what he does too. Oh, definitely. I think probably, you know, I think he realizes too that what he was getting into and that it is a low budget film. So I'm sure he didn't skimp the whole budget for himself. <laughs> Just like a million. I know we did talk about the green screen portions, but was there any parts that you didn't like also? There were times where I felt it was kind of dragging on. It was kind of a, this movie is almost a slow burner, but I see why they did it because you need to understand what treachery Overgard is going through and get emotionally invested with him and feel, you know, this isn't a quick journey. It's not easy. It's taking time. You have to get into his mindset. So personally, that was probably my only con. What about yourself? Mm -hmm. No, I, I do agree with you. Like he goes through so many hardships just when he is kind of going through the Arctic and, you know, there's parts where I think the director really like focused on that. And the movie is only like an hour and 37 minutes, but it does feel a lot longer than that. So yeah, I mean, besides those little portions, I thought the movie was done really well. Did you have any other comments about the movie, Matt? I had some trivia about the movie. This movie was actually originally supposed to be based on Mars and follow essentially the same premise, but it would be a crash shuttle. The guy has to get to a safe space and then essentially get evacuated from Mars. But the movie called The Martian, which starred Matt Damon, released in pre-production of this movie. And the director of Arctic decided, okay, this is too similar. Martian did too well. We got to change the premise of this movie. So he just changed the location to the Arctic. Who would you recommend to watch this movie? Yeah, I'd recommend it to anyone that likes kind of more of a thriller movie. Um, I was kind of on the edge of my seat when I was watching it. I guess the edge of my couch when I was watching it at home. But um, yeah, Mads Mikkelsen as an actor was, did a really good job in this movie. Um, I think people kind of know what they're getting into when they see Mads Mikkelsen on the big screen. So, and I think it was probably a, obviously a director's choice to probably get Mads because if you had like maybe like a lower tier actor in this movie i think maybe some people might not care as much about it mm -hmm. um, but i think it really showed his struggle because um, i i know like there's been so many real life stories of people who get trapped in not necessarily the arctic but say they're it's a plane crash or something and you know they're trying to reach for help and just his i guess personal deep struggles and we don't know how long he was on he was in the Arctic for before he started to try to get help. I would recommend it to anyone who's just interested in this style of movie. It's like, it's a slow burner movie. It's like an hour and 37 minutes, but I think the payoff in the end is, is, well, is well written. So yeah, anyone who enjoys these kind of movies. If you like good acting and you're not too concerned about, you know, good special effects, explosions, high pace action, say you want it well acted, low budget but well done movie, this is the one to watch.
Thanks for watching everyone. Let us know any other movies you want to check out in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, drop us a like and subscribe.